the channel, we take a trip to the new 52 once again with Cyborg Superman McFarlane Toys. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! to the channel for another DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys Platinum Edition unboxing and review. And today we got Cyborg Superman from the dreaded New 52. But for all your New 52 Cyborg Superman needs, McFarlane needs, everything else under the sun needs, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10% all in stock items, $7.95 flat rate shipping, and anything over $99.00. Does ship free. Got to get a deal out there. And this is our second time around the sun with Cyborg Superman. As this is the Platinum Edition, this one was eluding me for quite some time. And then they had the McFarlane Run Fair. If you guys are familiar with that, it's from uh, via the McFarlane Star. I don't even know how you get on the list. But they send you an email saying you can put your name in the hat. They're going to randomly draw winners for this. I was lucky enough to win this. You have to pay for it still, but just to be able to purchase it. I think it's like $30, which a little bit more than retail, but you get the hunt over with. And that's how I did come across this figure. Finally, I have not seen this as of now in the stores yet. But we did unbox this on the channel, the regular edition. Now we got the Platinum, and we're, of course, going to bring the Platinum edition, or the regular edition, out with the Platinum edition later on in this very video here. And, of course, we're going to do this video like we do all the other videos on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And as I said in the last rendition of this one here, this isn't quite what I think of as Cyborg Superman. I think back to, of course, the Death of Superman storyline with all the different Superman. I think that's the Cyborg Superman the majority of people want. But what happens is, and McFarlane, Todd, right over there on the couch, very smart businessman. Oh, I know. I'm just going to go on. I'm just going to love on you a little bit, Todd, here. Uh, but a smart businessman here because if you put that version out first, everybody got the one I wanted. Moving on, I'm done with it. You put this one out. Oh, it's Cyborg Superman, but it's not the Cyborg I wanted. But you know what? I'm going to get it. I like Cyborg Superman. And then you come out with that one down the line. Bam, Todd wins, McFarlane Toys wins. They get you to buy two figures instead of one. And it's a business after all. We always have to remember that. But let's take a look at this Cyborg Superman. Good weight to this figure, I will say. And there he is, kind of posed in the package. You got the Platinum logo down low. DC Multiverse Cyborg Superman. 12 and up. Yes, Mark Summers, 12 and up. 22 points of articulation right here. DC Multiverse. New 52 on the side right there looking good. DC Multiverse on that side. Then on the back, there he is, Cyborg Superman in all of his glory. Looking dangerous. Looking extra cybernetic is what he's looking like right there. But we're going to pull him out of the package. We're going to devalue this figure right here at the table is what we're going to do. And we're going to give the old Jabbar Skyhook. Got to throw the Skyhook in once in a while. Keep him guessing. Keep him guessing. That's what we got to do. Now, can I get this card out? Can I get the stand out? Oh, there it is. See you later. Off the screen. Goodbye. We do get the clear McFarlane stand here. Of course, builds together. Looking good. It's not the best flight stand you're ever going to get, but it's a nice value. Of course, you don't want to use it as a flight stand. Pull this off. you got a regular stand right here. Nice clear stand going on. For old Superman there. See you later. Up high. Goodbye. Let's read the card on uh, Cyborg Superman. Real name Zor-El. After Flashpoint, Superman's uncle Zor-El escaped Krypton's destruction thanks to Collector of Worlds Brainiac. Still waiting for that classic Kenner Superpowers Brainiac. We need that as well, Todd. Put that on the list. Subjected to cybernetic augmentations that deranged his personality, Zor-El became Cyborg Superman, Brainiac's scout for a stronger species in the universe. He attempted to conquer Earth, battling Superman and his own daughter, Kara Zor-El, but somehow escaped the black hole doom that befell Brainiac. Also surviving the rebirth event, Cyborg Superman reanimated the dead Kryptonians of Argo City and again attacked Earth, only to be defeated by Supergirl and Superman. So quite the baddie here in the old Cyborg Superman. He's not up for friendship. He's here to kill. There he is looking good. He's like a Terminator, I guess, is what he's like. He's also locked into the plastic prison. How dare I forget Todd and his plastic prisons here. We're locked in at the ankles. We're locked in at the shoulders. We're locked in at the arms. We're locked in everywhere. We don't want the Cyborg Superman getting anywhere out of the package and doing wrongdoing. That's for sure. And I pull him out. And we get him out. Up. Oh. 
Tied in at the waist, too. Dare I forget the waist. Always got that waist tied down. Man, oh, man. Todd, Todd you don't make it easy. You don't make it... Oh, my gosh. Another one on the arm. Thought I got them all, but I did not. There we go. Snip, snip, snap, snap. There it is. See you later. Goodbye. Twist ties. Scissors. Hardest working scissors in the game. Going strong since 2004. Shout out to those. Going to put them in the uh, Action Figure Hall of Fame one of these days, hopefully. But now we got old Cyborg Superman out of the package here. And first impressions, I like this more than the regular one. We'll see how it all ends up netting out. But no extra accessories, no extra hands on this. And like I said earlier, not quite what I think of with Cyborg Superman, but definitely looking dangerous here. We start with the head. You got a little bit of that Terminator look. Half of the face is kind of the steel silver uh, cyborg, I guess we'll call it. Then you got a little human skin tone on the other side. You got one red eye, one regular eye. You got a Superman hairdo you can set your watch to. That's Superman's hairdo for sure. Big old cape over the back, but then Billy D. Williams just puts his head in his hand and says, what are we doing? We need to treat our capes better. We got holes, we got tears, we got rips in it. It is the soft, kind of movable plastic, but I would have liked a real cape on here. Real, of course, cloth cape would have been nice with some wiring. Not the case here with this one today. Looking down from the neck, you got a little bit of human skin tone color with uh, some of the beats of the cyborg going on. Silver throughout on the right side of the body there. And then you get some of the Superman suit you can see with uh, different things of metal and the cyborg parts poking through. Very interesting legs on this one down to the two cybernetic feet down here or two toes on the two feet, I should say. This arm over here, you got the fist of Superman Fury ready to go, ready to take on the world. And then the second hand, looking more robotic, obviously, with that big, huge hand over here with the big, long fingers, looking extra dangerous, some spikes off to the side. It almost looks like red tendons and stuff, like muscle throughout against the cyborg parts. Definitely ugly, definitely a face only a mother could love. Arms go all the way around for us here. You got the butterfly shoulders, bicep cut. Double jointed pinned elbows. I guess single jointed on this one. This one's got the double jointed elbows. We'll say a little bit looser than I'd like it in the arms on this one. A little bit loose there. Head back and forth, side to side, up and down. Pretty good movement out of there. You get the traditional waist plus the hula hoop waist. Big old splits if you need them. Of course, legs do go up. Double jointed pinned knees. Once again, you got a little knee pad going on in silver here. Blue on the other side. Ankles up and down, side to side, back and forth. And then, of course, that toe articulation. Not just for uh, humans, not just for anything else. It's also for cyborgs, as we can see right there. But a good-looking figure. Definitely love the dirtyish, kind of darkish wash over the top of it. Makes it feel like it's a guy that's been through some battles. He's seen some things. He's seen the robot wars. He's seen the cyborg wars. Uh, he's ready to take on Supergirl and Superman, of course. Will he stand by himself, though, is the million-dollar question. Doesn't seem like he wants to. There we go. Old Cyborg Superman getting things done here in the Platinum Edition. Definitely do like that. I do got the regular edition right here. Not as dingy and dirty as that edition, as we can see here. A lot of similarities, as you can imagine. But this one looks like he just went through war. This one looks like he's getting ready to start war. The biggest differences you can see are, of course, on the mechanical arm. Pretty much all silver over here. A lot more blue on this one. But boy, does it look good. But I, I think I do... I think I prefer this one by a hair. I like the two red eyes on this one, but uh, the one red eye and the one regular eye looks good, but I like the arm on the cybernetic arm on this one a little bit more than the other. But both actually surprising figures. I was actually, when they went up and when they were solicited for pre-order, I said, ah, I'm going to wait. I'm not really interested in those. That's not my cyborg. Then I saw this one at a Target store, picked it up, really did like it. And then here we go, got the Platinum one. All in on the Cyborg Superman, apparently. But bring on the one I want from the death of Superman. Hopefully that's in the cards sooner rather than later. But a fun pickup. And if you see it at your Target store, Walmart store, whatever, probably worth a pickup. Platinums are only like one out of every six. So you might want to grab one if you do see one. Out of the streets, of course, as we know, doing the toy hunting game. But there it is, Cyborg Superman from the dreaded New 52. What are your guys' thoughts? Is this a pickup for you? A pass? A long game? Not the dreaded no game. Could it be? Well, it could be if you can't find it, I guess. That's the way it goes sometimes as well. But let me know your thoughts on the new 52 Cyborg Superman in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day. We got even more content for you on Patreon. Patreon, you get early access to all the videos from this very YouTube channel. Uh, you also got all the glamour shots, giveaways, Q&As, pizza stuff, dog stuff. You name it, it's all going down on Patreon. Patreon, the best way to support this YouTube channel. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle. 
Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media, Sir Paul64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads, and on Instagram. So for Cyborg Superman Times 2, I am Kyle, and I'll see you guys all real soon.